Good morning everybody. It's Duke again. I hope everybody had a good Monday. I uh, worked on this engine yesterday. Just talking. Looked over and realized the battery died on it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to re-record what I was talking about yesterday. This is a 26 horse very good strat. It's off of a John Deere 60 inch. I've got to see what size, what, what model number it was. I can't remember. It's a 26 horse. I keep saying 23 horse. I don't know why I do that, but I do. Uh, let me go out here and look on the hood and see what size it was. I got the parts, top parts of it soaking from yesterday. I'm trying to clean it up. Okay. It's off of a 190C automatic John Deere. I guess the automatic means that it's uh, uh, what do you call it? A high distract rear end. I know the rear end's no good in it. Okay. Let's see if this thing's going to fire off this morning. I was having trouble with my batteries yesterday. Alright. I think it'll work. So. I did the same thing yesterday. Uh, I don't have a muffler for it. I had to cut the old muffler off of it. It was rotted anyway. But at least it runs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up. Put it on the a bit. Now I looked up what a 23 horse would run. Here's the strap. And it was the one from uh, Amazon, same model as this, was 1966, $1966. The uh, Six horse. I don't know what ran because I thought it was. A tw uh, I always thought it was a uh, twenty-three horse until I looked at the sticker on it yesterday, and when I realized it was a twenty-six horse. But don't really matter much. Now the story on this, what the guy told me on this motor, on this lawnmower was. When he first got it, he put a, a uh, 
the motor, he blew the motor up big. And it ran for years. Well, he took it down to the woods and was mowing around the woods and the transmission went on. He thought it was just a belt, but it wasn't. It turned out to be the transmission itself. He brought it to me to see if I could fix it, which I told him there's just no way to help that one, which it wasn't. Set this battery back over here where I need it. Put it. It's one of my test batteries. Okay. And I'll set this one back over here. Alright. Check all in it. I know it had all in it with a I put a quart and a half of oil in it yesterday. Yeah, still needs oil in it. So I've already changed the oil in it. I'm going to take these sheet metal off, a little bit of time, and uh, clean it all up, clean up the carburetor. I'm going to rebuild the carburetor on it, clean the starter up on it. I've got several of these starters, exact same size. <sighs> Got a lot of rust. But anyway, he, when he put, when they put a new motor in, they put a new hour meter on it. And the hour meter shows just a little bit over 155 hours. So that telling me this, this lawnmower, this motor had less than 200 hours on it. And that's not a bad, I mean, the motor already broke in there. I know the oil that came out of it was fairly clean. So, uh, I'm going to turn you off, clean back up and everything, clean it up. I'm going to go to haul off some uh, leaves, this limbs this afternoon. I'm uh, trimming my trees up. Put these tools away because I Let me see now. I gotta put this battery up. I gotta see if it charged up. I think it I think I unplugged it last night before we got full charge on it.
that's a hundred percent okay. So I have to go back in here. Just as I was closing last night, I closed, well, every day at 2 o'clock. Because that's about all my back can handle. Six hours. Four to five, six hours. And, uh, old man rolled in here wanting a lock put on his, uh, his uh, trailer to hold somebody was on his, one of his wheels. So I had to make him a rod to uh, hold all of his, uh, that's all my nuts and bolts that motor. I don't know why I had him two buckets. But anyway, he, uh, Somebody stole one of the weeders right out of his driveway. So I built him a locking mechanism for his trailer. Didn't take long. Let's see now. Put this up right now. So it's back over here. I'm gonna put you on hold while I go out here and clean these parts up. And uh, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, I'm gonna take you and show you uh, one of the pressure washers I worked on last week. Uh, I put a new pump on it and buy a new fit, new. Uh, the only thing that came with it was a motor and wand. <laughs> and a pump, the pump that was on it. Uh, had lost all of its oil and was rattling like a box of bolts. So uh, put a new pump on it, new hose, and a new uh, new fittings. Tips, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, take you out here. Let's see how it works. As you can see, it's a Kohler 173. 
2600 but I put a 3,000 pound pump on it I could buy a, a 3,000 pound pump as much as I could it, the cost was going to be the same as on a uh, uh, 2600 so why not let's see alright there we go This is a little bit bigger. It shouldn't come out. 
Ten buck two for all I know. All right, go back to what I'm doing. This will be about the third or fourth time I've washed it. Uh, I, I spray it good, real good with awesome, and then I brush it, and then I, I do a light rinse with a water hose, then I spray some more awesome on it, let it soak for about five minutes, and then I'll take a pressure washer and I'll put more soap on it, and uh, when I get ready to pressure wash it, that should take all the grease off of it. Not failed me yet. Thought maybe I might be interested in that. I've got to get my truck around there and get it hooked up to the trailer, go to the dump. So, I'll be back in a little while. Bye now. All right, anybody want to learn how to put a belt on a pressure washer? After I got back from the dump, I was going to uh, redo the, the uh, I mean, pressure wash, rinse that motor off, and the pull rope broke up. <sighs> so, now. I've got one more left. Before I do it, I need to make sure I know up this end before I pull this thing off bought me a new set of Yeah. 